Hi, hello, welcome back to Bioenergetics with me, Devaraj. Today, we're gonna to do a four minute bow and arch exercise, which means that you will need about four, four, eight, eight, 24 minutes. 24 minutes of free time to do this exercise. You'll be going down in the arch for four minutes, then back into the bow for four minutes. And uh, it's important that you maintain the various elements of a body posture, which I will talk you through. You don't achieve so much if you are kind of fiddling around with it to suit yourself or doing it your own way, you know? Try to really hold to the posture. And very important, keep really breathing and feeling your body throughout. This is a very deep practice when you really develop a certain level of discipline to hold the posture and to maintain the breathing, maintain the breathing. Over time, it's an excellent treatment for most forms of anxiety. Are, are, are rooted energetically in the lower back and the backs of the legs with a lot of repressed feelings there. Okay, so let's get ourselves ready. Make sure you've got some loose clothing. And uh, I'm gonna put on a four minute timer and then we're just gonna go for it. Remember, if the pain gets too much at any time and you can't breathe through it because the intention is to try and increase your breathing when it starts to ache, then just stop and go back to a shorter version of this uh, bow and arch, maybe two minutes or three minutes or less. It's really fine. Don't, uh, don't risk pulling a muscle, particularly if you're not familiar with this practice or hurting yourself in some other way. Okay, let's get to it. So I'm going to do it sideways on so you can see the posture well. Stand with your feet, the outsides of your feet roughly parallel and your feet quite close together. There's like about two foot widths between your feet. And then drop your shoulders, you're going to keep your eyes open throughout and you're going to breathe in and out through the mouth, deep throughout. Your head drops to your, your chin drops to your chest rather. And you start to hang forwards. And even if you're quite flexible, your fingertips stay a little way from the floor. And just hanging, eyes open, breathing through the mouth. There are three elements of a body position that you need, the posture that you need to check whilst you're in this arch position. Firstly, that your neck and shoulders are loose. So give your, your head a little jiggle and your arms a little jiggle to feel like they're a rag doll, you know, you're a rag doll, your upper body. Then your tailbone, you imagine it's pulling up. Like there's a cord attached to your tailbone. So your legs are nearly straight, but you keep a little bit of flex in the knees. And then the third element, you lean slightly forward, so your heels are still on the floor, but your weight is more towards your toes. Those are the three elements of a posture you need to maintain during this, this arch practice. And then breathing through the mouth nice and deep, keep your awareness on your body. And you can also breathe into your belly and feel. This exercise opens up the backs of the legs and the lower back, key areas where the brain learns to repress old feelings from trauma, from conditioning. And all that creates a lot of rigidity in us. <sighs> so this is a stress position for those areas of the body. And under that stress, if you keep breathing deep, slowly it will start to release the muscular holding patterns. Nice big breath through the mouth. If your body starts to spontaneously shake, allow that, but otherwise stay relatively fixed. See my legs shake a little bit in this position. Every now and again, check those elements of your body position. Neck and shoulders loose, tailbone up, weight forwards, and breathe. Keep that breathing going. Make sure your fingertips don't get so low that you touch the floor. No taking the weight off. Maintain the position with a bit of discipline. And really breathe and feel the body. If it gets painful, try to move in and accept the pain. Try and feel it and keep breathing into it. 
And like I said at the beginning, if it's really too much, you stop and you go back to doing a shorter length of time. You don't achieve much by kidding yourself you're doing it when you're really only half doing it. <sighs> nice deep long breaths in and out through the mouth. Eyes open, you can softly focus on something behind you. People often report that that makes it easier and creates more of a flow of energy in the body. And there's the first ding, and now you very slowly come back up. Don't be in a rush to come up. Feeling your body the whole time. And once you're up, slowly you start to move into the bow position, the counter position to the arch. Your feet should still be this close distance together. Now in this position, your arms stretch right up and your arms are parallel, and then you pull them back, back behind the ears, and simultaneously you stretch your pelvis forwards and your chest out. So that you start to make an archer's bow position. Depending on your back and your posture and your legs, there will be different elements, different degrees to which you can do this. Some will stretch back more, but it's okay, just do the maximum for you, and then very important, your gaze is level. There's different ways of teaching this posture, but I teach it with the head upright, arms right up and back, eyes open and gaze level. And in this posture, maintain the posture and breathe through the mouth nice and deep. Ah. 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 Once again, I'm getting a bit of spontaneous shaking. That's okay, I just allow that and keep maintaining the stretch. Nice deep breaths. Feel your body. Try not to come in and out of the posture in any way. You maintain the stretch and you breathe and you feel. And once again, certain muscle groups will open up around the belly, the sternum, the chest, the shoulders, and the lower or middle back. Some tension is noticed in the neck. What you want to do is not try and shift the tension in any physical way, but just really feel it and keep breathing nice and deep. That on its own will start to integrate the repressed emotions, old trauma, old bits of conditioning where you've held yourself back. Just breathing and feeling the body and maintaining the posture is enough. Stretching the pelvis forwards, check your body pose. You want to be like an archer's bow from the side. Nice deep breathing. Big breaths out, especially if it's aching. Increase the stretch and breathe. Keep your arms right up and back, right up and back. We're opening up, as well as opening up the lower back and the, the belly in this posture, we're also opening up the shoulders. A phenomenal amount of tension is, particularly when you've been underachieving, or working your ass off, not being enough of a boss. <sighs> opening up those shoulders. Oh. Feeling your body, getting interested. Yeah, where is the tension? Where does it ache? Instead of trying to just let yourself off, coming out of any level of comfort addiction is very healthy. Breathe your way through the ache. Ah. If it's really too much pain, then stop entirely. Don't slacken off and come back. Stop entirely and go back to three minutes. Okay, there's another ding. That's the first round of the three over. Slowly drop your arms. Keep breathing and feeling your body. And when you're ready, you start to hang down, forward, slowly. Check your 
foot position again, that your feet are about two foot widths apart. And the outsides of your feet are roughly parallel, you're not like a penguin or Charlie Chaplin. And then hanging forwards, eyes open still, breathing through the mouth. Once you're down, check your body position. Shoulders and neck relaxed. Ugh, the tension in my neck there. More just talking. <laughs> and tailbone pulling right up, up to the sky, creating a counter stretch in the legs, but a little bit of flex in the knees. You always keep a little bit of flex in the knees in most of bioenergetics. And your weight is a little bit forwards, not leaning back. Your heels are still on the floor, but your weight is more towards the front of your feet. Eyes open, a very important breathe through the mouth. A lot of people contact me saying how much can they take up the bioenergetics, can they, how, how much can they increase this bow and arch exercise too. And you can increase it right up to 15, 30 minutes up and down, you know, 15 down, 15 up and longer. But it's much more important that you check your breathing. A lot of people clench. They learn to suffer and go through it. Here you have to suffer and kind of hold it in. Here you have to suffer and feel to get the opening. So it's radically different from some other challenge kind of exercises that you can find yourself in. Yes, you push yourself a bit, but it's more about opening the body and feeling rather than clenching the body and driving yourself through. So remember this and breathe. Breathe like an animal. Big breaths in and out through the mouth, down to your belly. Checking those three elements of your body position. Tailbone up, neck and shoulders loose. Big breaths. Ah. Ah. deep breathing and feeling what's happening inside. If your muscles are aching, feel it and breathe. Nearly everyone on the planet learns to clench, holding at the throat when the pain comes. And here we're going to program our mind to, to change that, to breathe. That's why you've been underwater and you just came up for air. Ah, ah, big breaths. And big breath and slowly come up. Don't be in a rush to come up. Don't be like, thank God that's over and rush your way up. You want to feel each movement of your body as you come up. Breathing through the mouth and feeling the whole way. Yeah, you can do it. And once we're up, we're going to go round into the bow position again. Feeling that body, feeling where it's aching. So you start to become aware. Where, where in particular does your body hold? When you focus on those areas or when you use other areas to counterbalance it, then a lot will start to change in your life. You'll notice more power and energy in your belly and more openness in your chest and your heart. Nice big breaths and check your body position. Arms should be up as high as you can get them. Like there's cords at your wrist pulling you up, but your heels stay on the floor and your arms stretch back behind the ears. Pelvis forwards and your chest out meeting the world. About one person in four when I'm running classes, which I do a lot with this exercise, they concave their chest. 
So if you think you might be doing that, check yourself in the mirror maybe and stick that chest out like you're meeting life. And then your eyes are open and your gaze is dead ahead, neck upright. Arms are up and back, but your neck is upright. And in this position, breathe. Big breaths now. You can do this. If you come to a place of, of real pain in your body and you want to try and breathe through it, what you can also do is allow the pain to affect you. If you're in an environment where you can make sound, I don't advise to scream so much, but make a sound for the pain on the out breath. Not pushing it from your mind, but just feeling into where it aches and allowing the sound out and allowing that feeling to show on your face. It's, it creates more emotional fluidity in you. And this is a very attractive quality, you know? Very attractive to be able to be really in your power and hold lines and also to be really able to be vulnerable and share your heart, you know? Bioenergetics are working to give you both. So, yeah, you can see my body's shaking a bit. My right leg has got some old trauma from operations and stuff. Ah. If your body's shaking, allow it, but don't, don't be busy if your body isn't shaking. It doesn't matter, you don't need to make it shake. Stretching the arms right back, really challenge yourself. Don't let yourself off the hook because you're doing it on your own. Be a bit of a sergeant major. Imagine you've got some Navy SEAL sergeant major on your ass. You check it, you know. You've got to learn to be like that yourself. Pulling your arms up. Ah, oh, stretching your pelvis forwards, chest out. You want to keep that position, but full stretch and breathe. Check you're really opening your throat and breathing. Ah, ah, you can do it. You can do it. Another device you can use to shift tension in this posture is to laugh from the belly, like a deep laugh, like. <laughs> when we laugh, we naturally release, so deep laughing can help. Also, putting out positive affirmations like just saying, yes, I can do it. You know, this also helps. Oh, we'll be using that more when we do some longer bow and arches, but for now, our arms are going to come down. Not blocking any feeling in your body, that shaking that I've got there just continues. Remember, if your body isn't shaking, don't worry about it in the slightest. And we're going back for the last time down into a bow, sorry, the arch. And slowly starting to hang forwards. It's really important to do this exercise in a block of three, three repetitions, because each time more opens and the third is the deepest. So really feel your body and breathe through the mouth. Just tuck my shirt in a little bit. Breathe and feel your body. This is where the transition or the change is supported, you know, where you go deeper. Putting your awareness into the body where it's aching. Feeling all around your body. Eyes are open. And once again, check your body position. Shoulders and neck loose. Ah. Tailbone pulling up. And weight forwards towards the front of your feet. Stay with it. This is the last time around. You can do it. And remember, if it really is too much, don't slacken off and then come back in. Drop out and go back to three minutes or two minutes. You can get a two minute dinger or three minute dinger or one minute dinger. You can find those things on your phone like Insight Timer. And just work at that level until you're really ready to come up. Cheating the exercise or gripping in tight and not breathing to do the three minutes, four minutes, you are not completing it. You've got to be your own Sergeant Major. Really get on your own case, get on your own ass. Big breaths through the mouth now. Ah, feel your body, where does it ache? The backs of the legs, lower back, neck. Go in there and feel it. If it's really painful, feel it and breathe. Try to breathe through the pain. 
Don't let the part of your mind that is comfort addicted control you. Always try to breathe through the pain. And sometimes what you'll find is you breathe right through to the other side and you're free. Other times you can't and you need to slacken off a bit. You're not here to torture yourself, but you are here to test yourself. And like I say, you can build this exercise up to 15 minutes three times round. You know, so that's a total of like, whoa, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. That's like one and a half hours if you've got the time to do that. And when you get to that level, you would have cleared a lot from your system. But that is pretty advanced. Here we're doing four minutes, and that is advanced as well. Big breaths out through the mouth, eyes open. Stay with it. Check your body position, tailbone right up, weight forwards. Neck and shoulders loose. Eyes open, soft focus on something behind you if you like, and breathe. Big breaths out. Don't let your hands touch the floor. Don't take the weight off in any way. You stay in the position and you breathe and you feel. Don't achieve, no achieve nothing if you cheat. Ah, big breaths, feel those legs, feel the lower back. We're putting those muscles under stress, and as they stress like an old dishcloth, they can release their tension and become later more fluid, later more pliable and resilient. Yeah, that's the end of the arch position, and slowly we come back up. Remember this, so many people rush up. Your head comes up last, feeling my body the whole way. Slowly I come up. And now for the last time I'm going into the bow position. Arms are right up like they're being pulled up to the sky. Arms are right back, pelvis forwards, chest out, gaze level, neck upright. <coughs> yeah, all this talking is creating a bit of tension in my throat. <laughs> Burping is usually a good sign in this kind of practice shows that the throat and belly are starting to open. It may not be so popular with your friends or at the dinner table, but it's a good practice, good sign in this. You don't want to hold those burps in. <laughs> stretching your body, really stretch it in the bow. Particularly on the out breath, you can stretch a bit more. You've got to be on your own ass. Checking that body position. Don't let yourself off the hook. Arms are at full stretch. And your shoulders are right back. Arms pulling back, but gaze is level. Oh, and then the pelvis is forwards, and you stick your chest right out like you're meeting life. We learn to compress our chest, to avoid vulnerability, to avoid pain, but then it, it takes us out of life. Breathing nice and deep, stay with it. Stretching your body, opening your body. Nice big breaths. Breathing through the mouth. Stretching, check your body position. Nice big breath, stay with it, you can do it. Keep that bow really stretched. It's almost like your, your body's a piece of damp wood and it's being stretched on a bow making machine. You want to get your arms up as high and as far back as you can, pelvis and chest open, and then really breathe and feel in that position.
Stay with it, stay with it. for fine routine, slowly let your arms in. Don't be in like a rush. Now what is good just to wind down from this exercise is to gently allow your body to shake. Actually, you can close your eyes if you want or keep them open, but feel into your legs, feel into the area around your knees and look for a kind of animal shakiness there. This animal shakiness is a vertical shake, it's not a side to side shake. It's a vertical shake. This is your body's natural release shake. If, if it's not there, don't worry about it. You just let your body just induce a bit of shake, feeling into your knees and your ankles and your legs. And shake a bit on the vertical axis, not side to side. Letting your body shake and keep breathing nice and deep through the mouth. Shake it out for a minute or two, and then find a nice spot and just sit and breathe and feel your belly, and that will help to bring you back after this exercise. Okay guys, well done. That was a four minute bow and arch, and next episode we'll be doing a five minute one. Nice little challenge. One little point I didn't mention there, but some people really struggle with the mid-back or with the bow position in the bow position I mean, with the middle of the back around here or the top of the lower back around here. And sometimes, you know, you may not be aware that you might have a slight postural irregularity and you can take your heels onto a book one or two centimetres thick, your toes still on the ground and try the bow like that. That can really help. I used to do that because I had a lot of ankle operations when I was a kid and now I can do it without. But it can really support to help get the bow position right if you are struggling in the bow. Okay guys, over and out and see you again soon. Keep doing that bio.